All right, what's up guys? Today I'm back over at Antoine's place. He has already put my bike on stands that are not mine. He was nice enough to do it for me. So today we're gonna take off both of the wheels because I got new tires. So we're actually gonna take them up to CMP and have them weigh them and compare them to his uh, carbon fiber wheels. Right here, you can't see his bike at all. I don't think, no, not that wide. All right, so just pretty basic stuff, taking the front wheel off. Um, it's usually easier to leave the bike on the ground when you start to loosen everything up. For the Kawasaki, I think it's a 24 millimeter hex for the axle. But you want to loosen these two pinch bolts, which I think are six millimeter. Loosen these two up, break the axle loose. You want to take your calipers off in order to get the front wheel off as well. I've already loosened this up. That's done and this is broke loose. You don't have to worry about the other side. There's a collar that's axle threads into. So you want to leave these tight so the collar doesn't spin while you're trying to take the axle off. And he already took off my axle sliders. Actually, it's 22 mil. What I normally do is put a little bit of weight under the wheel, just so. So it doesn't drop? Yeah. This is why I hate these stairs. All right, they get in the way? Yep. So for the back wheel, again, I've already set the bike up so we save some time. So on Josh's bike, just had to remove the slider. Normally, for anybody that didn't have a slider, you have a cotter pin. Just a couple of needle nose pliers you can bend out, pull it out of the way. The infamous cotter pin. <laughs> Loosen this up. And uh, yeah, brake caliber is not mounted to anything. The axle slides directly through it. And there's a groove, at least on Cowie's, uh, on the swing arm to make sure the bracket stays in place. So you gotta make sure when you put it back on, you line all that back up. But take it off, pretty much the same thing. And take the slider block out. All right, so let's we'll put some grease on that. Before we put it all back together, change and pull off. Got kind of draped to the side there. So, just slide this back. Set that off to the side, like so. There's the groove. That will slide back on. Show it out. And that's what the caliber slides up onto the hole in place. Okay. If you guys can see, I started to have some of the cord show in the middle. I probably could have gotten a little bit more, but you know. But yeah, this this is when you change your tires. Yeah. This is it what is this flush. is there for, is to indicate it's time to change. Yep, it's time to change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that. It was pretty quick and easy because he already had it set up for the most part. Um, so now we're gonna head to CMP. And if you guys are local, then you probably heard the name, but it's uh, Classic Motorcycle Performance. They're pretty much the go-to shop around Nashville for performance stuff for motorcycles. You get maintenance doing there too. And maintenance, mainly, mainly people go there for perf, for the, you know? <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you when we get there. Uh, okay, so we're at CMP. That's loud. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we're at CMP. We're about to get going on the uh, tire swap. Uh, just so you know, I went with the uh, Rosso Corsa 2. There it is. Yep. 
So just about to get these going. Jeremy, the owner, just left. I don't know where he went, but he's about to take off the tire from my rims and put these on. So I'm gonna get him doing that and just, I don't know, maybe get a little cinematic. retard this year, huh? Oh, yeah. With his checkbook. Yeah. <laughs> That's not right. a tax return, but yeah. well, I think he had someone kill, but he put life insurance on him right before. Okay, you ain't even had that trout that long. You already tried to get some of Yeah. Yeah, after you wreck it. You see how many cars I have? That's the perfect way to buy a bike. Cars. Buy a bike, wreck it, and then sell it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Should make your money back. <laughs> I probably will. And rims back. What? I'll wait on the next. Too many wheelies, man. I don't know. Uh, no, it would have been great. Dar I just Darius said it on the back the tire. With his Daytona ran into the back of me. <laughs> yeah. And you want a bigger bike? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right? This Why? Because his is still functional? <laughs> yeah. It was so much more You know what? That's the solid. problem. He didn't go down and I did. <laughs> the, the 675 wasn't fast enough to destroy the, the RR. <laughs> exactly. Bigger. All right, so that's that. We got the wheels on. Uh, we were going to weigh them to compare them to Antoine's, but we forgot while the tires were off. So I'm going to look that up online. Uh, by the way, this is Jeremy. Okay. He's the owner at uh, CMP. Yeah. And I believe we might have an interview with him coming up. Yep, when we do this uh, Honda here, finish tuning it on the nitrous. Yeah, he's putting nitrous on a CBR. Was it 1,000? Yeah, 1,000. Yeah. So whenever he gets done with that or close to being done, I'm going to come up here, record a little bit of that, and get an interview going. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. We said CBR right now makes, what, 202? 202, which is surprising. All I wasn't motor. expecting that on motor. It's a 40 horsepower increase Jeez. from where it came in. Yeah, we were expecting like 190, and then they made 202. We weren't really shooting for that. It is a Honda. So that, Honda <laughs> that Honda on motor with the CMP work is three horsepower higher than my ZX-10. And it's sock bottom end. All it is is head and cams and a bump and compression. I'm looking forward to seeing that one in action. All right, well, I guess we'll see you back at Antoine's place to put the wheels back on. Ah, we're back at Antoine's. Okay, so what were you doing? We're about to get the wheels put back on real quick because I need to go because I'm seeing Captain Marvel today. And Kane's already texting me and saying, where, where are you? We messed up. We should have weighed the wheels because that was our goal. The whole reason we went to CMP was to have the wheels weighed. I got distracted. Yeah, we, we didn't do it. We tried to look online. You can't find it. You can't find it anywhere. I'll keep so, digging. We'll see if I come up with it. You got to go deep, deep in the web. I got to go to the dark web. The dark web. <laughs> If I can ever figure it out, I will put it in this video. If this video comes out before I figure it out, I probably won't figure it out. But you weighed yours, right? Yeah, but see, I only have BSC website to get the action. And I know for a fact that There you go. <laughs> That's all we got. Basically, his wheels are very light. 
Also, quick note, yeah. So I don't know how this happened, but up until now, I thought my wheels were forged magnesium. I think it's because Darius sent me a link for these exact wheels, except they were the forged magnesium. So up until this point, I was just like, oh yeah, they're forged magnesium. I think that's how it happened, but they're not. They're forged no. aluminum. Forged aluminum. Yeah. But either way, you know, if whatever. If you're a 10 R owner and you believe yours are magnesium, <laughs> you are mistaken. <laughs> We ain't got a trash can. Yeah. Uh, Backing out the driveway. How'd that even happen? <laughs> the person just knocked down their trash can. <laughs> yeah, you guys already saw taking off the wheels. So I'm probably just gonna show the rear wheel just because you have to worry about the chain and sprocket and all that stuff. So it's a little more than the front wheel. I'm probably gonna have to just roll out. Your tires have a direction usually indicated somewhere or another on the rosos. There's this arrow indicating which direction the rotation needs to be. And of course, your wheels also have a direction. Oh, I didn't realize the arrow. <laughs> yep. And then of course, your spoke design. There are some instances if you buy aftermarket rotors, there are usually a left and right side rotor as well. So in case you buy aftermarket rotors, you have to pay attention. Also, I lied, I'm showing the front now. <laughs> I literally just said I was gonna skip the front. <laughs> well, this is just waterproof grease. Just wanna put a thin film on your axles. And you just had that on hand? With the grease? Yeah. I mean, I've been doing motorcycles <laughs> forever. But yeah. yeah, I've had it for as long as I've been doing this. Cause you just said yes, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Your response was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Foot wedge underneath it. So foot, foot wedge. You can get that at your local store. <laughs> foot wedge. Get that all lined up. Josh, you want to grab that rubber mallet? Yes. Where is it? No, let's see. Rubber mallet. most important thing about doing a tire change or right, anytime you take the brakes off is to make sure you pump your brakes before you go on a test drive. It'll take a minute for it to start to bite. And if you get into a uh-oh situation and you didn't pump your brakes, you won't have them when you first grab them. The fun part about this is getting this on foot wedge again, which Pitbull has a, a foot wedge? tire wedge. <laughs> Pitbull has a foot wedge, guys. <laughs> so, I'll make sure that we slide this back in with the flat side facing the chain tensioner. So, you can adjust your chain properly. And it's just tightening everything back up. All right, so that's basically it. He had to adjust the chain because he couldn't get it back on without adjusting the chain. So he's doing that now. It's basically done. I guess that's it. I'm gonna head out and go watch uh, Captain Marvel. Nerd! <laughs> Call him me a nerd, yeah. <laughs> After all your shirts and all these videos. <laughs> I don't know how many miles it's required to break these tires in, but they feel very, very slick. Well, they're not that bad anymore. I think next video is gonna be a little bike swap on this one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Antoine, anything to add? Might be some more parts going on the 10. Other than getting ready for some for some racing. Yep. 
we'll, we'll talk about that in the bike swap video. There's a lot of stuff happening. We're gonna talk about it later. <laughs> so that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. That would have been awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm not putting the mic back on real quick. So he just had me pull the front brake. I know we were kind of talking about that a little bit, but. Just as you take the brakes off, yeah. there's initial space between the rotors and the brake pads. So when you go to grab the brake without reapplying the pressure before it starts to grip the rotor, there's, it's squishy until, until you pump. So when he grabbed the front brake just a minute ago, the lever went all the way to the handlebar and I could have probably still spun the front wheel yeah so i figured that would be kind of cool to show on camera i'm sad that i did that to the front one already but basically i pulled this back with no resistance all the way to the handlebar and it it did it like that like four times and now it's catching good okay that one's not right away well anyway i'm sad that i didn't get the uh the front one on camera because that was like whoa <laughs> if you ever change your brakes or your wheel whatever tire all that stuff and then you don't prime your brakes before going riding and you get into a little situation then you're not gonna have any brakes and you might be hitting a car cool thanks H1 no problem okay bye again <laughs>